Good morning, everybody. I think it's easy for us to take the natural origins of some of the festivities surrounding us at this time of the year for granted. And you look at things like plastic, tinsel, and colorful everything, not necessarily appreciating that much of that starts with the natural seasonal shift in color patterns around us. So I have a pomegranate here, which probably you're all familiar with. Does it look like any Christmas ornament type thing to you? Because it does to me. But I also wanted to use this as a way to showcase botanical gardens and why we grow some of the plants that we do. This is a common question that comes to us. The pomegranate itself, a beautiful showy shrub with big flowers and then these gorgeous fruits, which many people love to either eat or juice. But what about this little shrub in front of me? It's not quite a pomegranate, but it's also not entirely not a pomegranate. This is Punica protopunica. This is a wild relative of the cultivated pomegranate that we all know. In fact, the pomegranate is so long insinuated in human culture at this time of the year that the intentional um, farming of this fruit probably goes back as far as 2,500 years so far back that we don't even know of such a thing as a wild pomegranate anymore. But we do have a wild cousin of the pomegranate here in this Punica protopunica. And I wanted to showcase this because it's actually coming into flower and you'll see little tiny fruits on it, but I promise you that they don't compare to the cultivated variety. We have little tiny fruits on this shrub that taste terrible and they're not particularly attractive. So why would we be growing something like this? Well, I'll tell you that if pomegranates, which are so long beloved by humans across the world, somehow came under threat, either from new disease or things related to climate shifts, we would have to turn to this cousin because there are no such thing as wild pomegranates anymore. This little shrub in front of me might actually have genes that relate to things like vigor in the face of drought, disease resistance, and could be that this little wild cousin is ultimately what allows future generations to continue to appreciate pomegranates at this time of the year.